y'all? How are y'all? How are y'all doing? Y'all ready for some Bow Tuesday? Okay. I was trying to get all my stuff going here. Lordy. I was putting a shelf together. <laughs> and I went up to the last second. So I could try and get it done. Because I never, I never have time to do anything. Y'all like that? Okay. How do I flip flip? There we go. Alright. So y'all doing okay? Hopefully y'all are doing well. Hello, hello. Alright. So we're going to do a strawberry. A strawberry. <laughs> with a... With some little greenery. I have some yellow because I thought it would be fun. Alright. Get this kind of moving over here. So we're going to decorate this. And you have options. Like when you decorate these, you can either decorate them at the top or you can decorate them at the bottom. Kind of anything you want. Okay. Oh, and y'all, I'm sorry. I know I showed y'all my new frame and then I immediately took it down. So I'm sorry about that. I did not like having to lean it over to take the picture out. So we actually cut the back out of it. And so now all you have to do is put your finger there to pull it out. So this works a lot better. And then you still have this little section here and here to attach it to your wreath. So we actually took a couple dollars off of it too, but it still works exactly the same. It's just that now you can, you can reach it to get it out without having to take it off the wreath because that was the whole point. That was the whole point of it, right? To not have to take it off the wreath. So, okay. So we have our cute little ribbon. This ribbon has some yellow in it. The little seeds are yellow. So I thought it would be fun to pick up some yellow. Because usually when you're thinking about strawberries, you aren't really thinking about yellow. But there's yellow in these seeds. So that's where we're getting that from. All right. So I'll get kind of zoomed in here. We can make a nice, pretty bow for this. All right. So we're going to take our ribbon. Let's do, let's do about a 10 inch tail. I'm going to take this, fold it in half. I'm going to cut at an upward angle right towards that wire. That just gives us that nice dovetail. Hello, hello. How are y'all? Okay, so this is our ribbon set for tonight, these. So let's do six inch. So let's see, I think we'll do maybe three, two, one, three, two, one. Let's try that first. Okay, so that means three loops, two loops, one loop, all the same size, then three loops, two loops, one loop, all the same size. So if you hear me say that, that's why. So I'm using the Easy Bow Maker, and you just put it, slide it down. See how I like to go right kind of sideways? Makes it easier for me to twist it at the bottom. Good evening. I know, isn't it pretty? I love the strawberry ribbon. It's super pretty. Okay. There we go. So we can stretch it out like this. Trim this off. Okay. Stretch these out. So I'm going ahead and starting to kind of fluff it a little bit. That way I just don't have to do as much when I'm done. Okay, then we're gonna do this strawberry. Look how pretty that is. This is a pattern driven. So you know we have to do the goodness. Hey, Cece. All right, so we're gonna do 
let's do this set by hand and then we'll do the next set on the bow maker okay me too I love bow Tuesday so we measure out our tail I'm just gonna pinch it so that's what you're doing when you do it by hand you pinch the ribbon and you want to not twist it okay I'm gonna show you why if we twist and pull it across then guess what this strawberry is going one way and this strawberry is going another so the trick to patterned ribbon is not to twist it so to accomplish that what we do is we measure out for a six inch loop you go from 12 to 0 bring it around the back pinch it in all right so that's six inch then you go from 12 to 0 again you can go ahead while your hand is on the mat and get that little gathering and this time you go across so the first time we went under and the second time we went across okay just like that I can pull them up make sure they match for the second third one I don't really have to measure on my mat because I have something to measure too I like to go ahead and put it in my hands like this my hands hurt me so yeah you could also put it in the deco mesh tool dut, 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 just like this if your hands hurt you like that then you would measure it to the same length you're just pushing it in you're not putting anything behind or in front okay you're just strictly gathering it in that spot so pull it over gather it just like that trim it off take it out then we'll take this whole piece and we'll put it in the bow maker so see how you can take some elements that are handmade and some elements that are put through the bow make a there we go now we just need a dovetail oh graduation that's exciting all right you see how nice that looks how everything is going in the same direction next time we'll do it in the bow maker I love strawberries too so I'm gonna do white this time that's gonna help both that yellow and that red in this ribbon to pop there we go so six six oh and uh, we did switch things up on y'all owl is on Facebook and Z is on YouTube so if you're wondering why they're talking a little different that would be why so it's good to change things up sometimes I can't have my ladies getting bored right let me pick this up all right so now we're gonna do this again but we're going to go smaller. Okay. Can I get three of this? I think so. Okay. So we'll start with our dovetail. Get our tail in there. So we're going to go to five inches this time so I can move my ribbon aside. And on the bow maker, it has the little markings. So I can use that. thought it might be fun for y'all if we switched it up sometimes okay and if you don't know who I'm talking about I am talking about my moderators they are two wonderful women who help me to answer y'all's questions so nobody gets missed because we like that all right there we go 
perfecto. Alrighty. So I'm going to detail this. This next set of ribbons is going to have a smaller tail. Okay. This time, we're going to do the patterned ribbon in the bow maker. Okay. So, same thing. We get our dovetail. All right. Put our ribbon in. So, you see how I twisted? Because that's what we do when we're in a bow maker. So, twist. Five inch. So, what I'll do is I'll pick, okay, which side or which way do I want my strawberries to go? So I'm probably just gonna look at what's on the bottom and that's what I want my strawberries to look like. So I can match them to the ribbon that's already here. We're gonna do two of these, okay? This one is going in the opposite direction of this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick the whole thing up and twist it. Okay, just like that. All right, we'll do this again. Pick it up and twist it. You wanna wait until you get it in the bow maker and back to this centerpiece, and then you twist it. You need a ball back. You're so funny. There we go. So now you can see, you see how everything is going the same direction? That's because of that little trick we did. Oh, why are you not showing me comments on here? Hold on, Facebook wants to be weird. <laughs> I cannot get it to pull up, there we go. Now we got it, now we got it, now we got it. Hello. So we're gonna put our one on top here. Remember I said we were gonna do three, two, one. Okay. So we did our three, two, one. When I have something like this and I have a focal ribbon, right? This is our focal ribbon. This ribbon ties all of our other ribbons in together. Sometimes when I have this, I'll take this ribbon and I'll bring it back up top. So we can just kind of do this in our hand because it's just the one loop, right? So we want a small loop, about four inches, three or four inches, just like that. So under, over, that's what you need to do. Over, so over on the right side, over, under on the left side. Just like that. See how we just put it all together. Trim our tail off. She'll learn your names. Don't worry. Okay. All right. We got plenty of white and red left. Now we're gonna take our zip tie and get this whole monster bow out. We got the drama. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this, slide it under one side. Make sure you get under everything. Then you just have to get it started, okay? And pull it out. Put this over here. Now. You can see where the invention is, see it? So I'll hold one side. It's very important that you hold that one side because if you don't, your ribbons are gonna move with your zip tie. Even if you use wire, you still wanna hold because it will move when you move. It'll move when you move, 
Okay. Now, I'm going to tie a zip tie on here. Okay. Right like that. So I'll put a zip tie under there. Okay. Tighten it really good. As tight as you can get it. Use pliers if you need to. All right, then we're going to break the bow. Breaking the bow means, you see how it's all scrunched up in there, right in there? That means that we are going to get it so that that's not happening. So when I say break the bow, what I mean is we're breaking it from that little part right there. Okay, so pull back and forth, twist it. This is gonna accomplish several things. It's gonna get that. You see how nice and fluffy that is now? If I just come over here and stick my hands in here and fluff it out without doing that, can you see the difference? There is a big difference. So pull and twist. Pull and twist. There we go. I like to go from the bottom to the top. It would be like trying to ice in the cake before you bake it. You really need to go from the bottom to the top. So, make sure you do that. There we go. So each time I'm twisting, I'm also pulling it in place. This little one in the middle, we're just gonna kinda fluff up. You can go side to side or you can go back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Fluffing is a big part of bow making. Definitely a part you don't want to skip. So I've been making bows for years. But my bows didn't look as good as they do now until I learned the tricks of fluffing it. So that's a big part. Listen, my first, <laughs> my first attempts at bows were pretty sad. So don't get discouraged if you're struggling. Just keep doing it. Get some practice ribbon. There we go. So I got it all fluffed out. See how you run your hands under the wire? And that gives you that nice cascade look. All right trim this off now we're gonna do we're gonna do a couple of things we're going to create a little swag to go under here and we're gonna put stuff in the bow so we're definitely gonna be doing my mom's favorite thing she likes stuff in the bow <laughs> all right so I grabbed some greenery this is crossbush. I really like it. It looks a lot like sage. And I love the sage bushes. And you, you just can't find it anywhere. So, I got this. Crossbush. Okay. So you can see how many pieces there are. Like this. See that? So all of those pieces can be used. I'm gonna cut it right where it hits right here. Whenever I'm picking out bushes, I'm always counting how many pieces, okay? I'm counting how many pieces. The other thing I'm doing is I'm looking to see if things can be moved and if it can bend. So you see how this has wire in it, so you can bend it, very important. It also allows you to push it all the way up. These are very important things when you're looking at especially greenery. So I can have some pieces that have a little bit more kind of fullness in here, some that are a little bit denser. 
So then you see when I stack them together, it makes it look like a much bigger piece. See that? So this is a really good trick when you're using greenery to make this bush look bigger and fuller is to kind of stack them like this. So then I'm gonna put them in the bow maker because we're gonna make the little swag right here in our bow maker. I'm gonna grab another zip tie. I'm gonna go ahead and load the zip tie. One thing you can do is you can put some of the greenery on the other side like this. See how I just take like a piece or two, put it on the other side of the pegs. What that does is that ensures that when you tie that zip tie, that nothing is gonna come out. All right, so we'll do the same thing. Push this one up just a little. Just like that. Push this one up pretty well. And then we will put that in. So you see how that makes that look like a nice thick bush? Really it wasn't, right? But we made you think it is. We make it look like it. Then we can take these pieces and you can see there are several places that we could cut if we want to have more pieces. So like I can push this up and we're picking pieces for the bow. So I'm gonna cut that. All right, then I have an end where things will fall off. You have two choices. You can take pliers, make a little hook. Yeah, I love the boxwood, okay? Or you could put a little bit of glue on it. So either way works. So now what I'm doing is making pieces to go in the bow. Okay. So next time you're picking greenery, make sure you're looking to see, you know, how much you can get out of it. Because that's important. That's what's going to save you money and really help. It does, right? I know, that's why I got it. <laughs> because it looks like, did I say sage? I meant rosemary. It looks like rosemary. Not sage, it looks like rosemary. It does look real. It's very, it's waterproof, so it's a little bit frosted, really pretty. Okay, I wanna put just a little bit of yellow in it because I wanna pull the yellow out of the flower. Okay, so, hold on, I gotta have a sip. Okay, I hate the greenery on this one. It's super dark. It doesn't go with this. So I'm just going to pretend like that greenery doesn't exist. This is what I want. I want, first I'll just come and I will cut these little leaves off because I don't need them. I'll save them because sometimes I'll put leaves on the back of projects. This is what I want. This, this stuff right here. Let's cut it back out here. How pretty is that? How cute is that gonna look coming out on the side of that bow? So I'll grab a few of these because these things are the bomb. Okay, we're doing the same thing. We're loading them in. I like that little grass right there. I don't want too much sticking out. So I'll trim it once I figure out how long it needs to be, just like that. So I want it to be far enough that you can see it kind of outside our little rosemary bush. I will take some of these very delicate little yellow flowers. I'm just gonna pull them off and we're gonna put those in the bow. So this, I'm not gonna put a ton in because I don't wanna overwhelm it with the yellow. I just want some yellow accents. So maybe three pieces in the bow. And 
a couple of pieces in here. And that's all we're gonna need. Okay. Just getting that leaf off. Okay, so I want the grass over here. We have it over there. This just helps us get balance. Okay, so I need one more piece. And then, that's all we need out of this. Put that in. Turn it off. This is why I love zip ties. <laughs> because we can take this whole piece, zip tie it together. Is this not a good zip tie? Hold on. I had it turned the wrong way. Nothing wrong with zip tie, it's me. <laughs> okay, pull it out. Now you want to make sure all your pieces are in there. Let's see. Everything in there? Yes. So you want about an inch in there. I'm going to tighten it up. One thing I like to do when I make my own little swags. Let's see, where is it? Hmm. I had it out the other night. Where'd it go? Hold on. Well, I don't know where it went. It's probably sitting on my tip, y'all. Seriously, it's right here. This is floral tape. <laughs> uh, and the way you activate it is you stretch it. I just usually put a little bit over it. Just one. I just kind of want to cover that zip tie. And it just kind of helps give it a finished look. See, like that. Look how cute that is. Now, you could do a lot of things with this. If you were um, making little pieces like this, you can decorate frames. You can kind of fold it over. And get the corner oh, we're gonna have to do that next that's what we're doing next week we're so doing it so I'll take this little piece remember how we had our zip tie here we're gonna take this zip tie but we're also gonna zip tie it onto the strawberry all at the same time so the next thing we need to do is figure out where we want to put it. Do we want to put it up here? So you're still going to be able to see it's a strawberry. Even if we put it up here. I kind of like it up here. I kind of like it up here. Okay. So I think that's where we're going to put it. So I'll take this zip tie. I will go right into this stem up here at the top. See, it's right there. I'll zip tie right around our little greenery here. Pull our greenery out. And if you can see, I'm zip tying it on the inside underneath. Y'all can't see that. Hold on. I'm tying it underneath the bow so that it's nice and flat right here where the door would be okay so tight tight okay and then we can turn that off there is already a hanger okay on this strawberry it's right there see that now remember how i said I keep the leaves. You can take a leaf, one of these little leaves, put a little glue on it, and right there it goes, and then it covers up your mechanics. Also prevents anybody's door from getting damaged. So I just get a little glue on my spatula, get a little glue on here, glue it right over, just like that. So this is how I deal with stuff because I use a glue pot. It's just a silicone spatula. All right, now, 
let's refluff our bow for a second. Kind of move our greenery around a little. So you see how we just have a little bit? But now we're going to incorporate our bow into this. So we take these pieces that we did. Oh, sorry. Sometimes it does not like my hands. Okay, now let's get a little glue, all right? Then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna glue right in between the ribbon layers. It works great. And then it's going to, so you know how this greenery down here, it doesn't show a ton, but it will because we're gonna move it up into the bow and then the whole piece will work together. Yeah, she's back there. She's sleeping. When I said, when I said, are you ready to go earlier? She thought we were leaving. She ran to the door and she sat there for like 20 minutes. <laughs> she wouldn't come back. And then she finally did. I have to be careful what I say. <laughs> she takes it literally. She's like, oh, we're going. Okay, one in there. It's very important that you take it and you get it in between the ribbon or it won't glue. Okay. So, just like that. Put a little in here. I think that dried too quick. Okay. There we go. That one, that one's okay. That one, that one dried. That's what happens when you're talking too much and you let it dry <laughs> while you're talking. <sighs> Will what be for Christmas? What are y'all talking about? What am I missing? All right. So now I'm gonna take this little bit of yellow and I got some glue on it. I'm gonna glue it pretty close to that strawberry ribbon. Just like that. What's great about this is these kind of projects don't cost a lot of money to make, but they look so cute after you put all the little things in the bow that it makes it it gives it an elevated appearance right because that looks a whole lot better than just the strawberry i mean strawberry is cute all by itself yeah we're working on christmas stuff already we sure are And I did relist that frame, if you were looking for it. It is back out there. New and improved. <laughs> there. Okay. I think I might put one more. Let's see. Do one in here. I think I squashed that ribbon when I was... Pulling it down. There we go. Okay, I want to grab one more. Mm. Yeah, she's ready for me to make that uh, gingerbread door hanger, which I think we are not going to make round. I think we are going to make it in the shape of a gingerbread house. Now that is stinking cute. Hold on, let me. Look how stinking cute that is. <gasps> Look at that. See that? Look at all that. Cute. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. I love this little, a little bit of the grass coming out. Where's that? Here's the other one. So there's one. There's one. 
And if you have all these glue strings, just get your hair dryer out, put it on low, they'll come right off. Awesome! Me too, right? I love it. Awesome! Thank you. All right, y'all, that was fun. Wasn't that fun? My mom will probably, she wants everything. <laughs> she probably will. You're right, she probably will. That's so cute, isn't that cute? Awesome. All right, y'all, well, I hope y'all have a marvelous night. And tomorrow night, what are we doing tomorrow night? Um, I'm not sure what we're doing tomorrow night. We might do another Halloween. I haven't figured it out yet. Thank you. All right, y'all. I hope y'all have a wonderful night. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 8 o'clock. We'll make something fun. I think we're going to do something with... Um, the woodland ruffle because I was thinking that I wouldn't have to use my chip clips anymore because I can use the tool so I want to try that out so we'll, we'll do that tomorrow right I love the strawberry I love it all right well, y'all have a great night and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 and we'll do something fun